Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Mueller versus Oregon is going to be an interesting court case. Um, women, the, the state of Oregon made a law that said that women couldn't work more than 10 hours a day. And James will tell you that 8 hours a day is a ridiculous day to work. But women couldn't work more than 10 hours. Well, remember we talked about um, like the Danbury Hatters case where Hatters couldn't work more than a certain amount of time or Lock the versus or New York. Um, businesses sued saying that this took away their right to actually had the freedom to tell people when to work. And this court case was different because um, um, in, in uh, Mueller versus Oregon, the, uh, the uh, attorney who won was a guy named Louis Brandeis. Uh, has anyone heard of Louis Brandeis before? He was the first, he ends up becoming, a, he goes to the Supreme Court, he's the first Jewish person ever in the Supreme Court. And he won this, and there was a, he kept using something that became known later as the Brandeis brief. He oftentimes didn't talk about the Constitution when dealing with issues on constitutionality. He won Mother's Oregon for the women, but what he said was, you have to allow women to have some time off because they are weaker people and they need to be at home with their children. Socially speaking, making women work this many hours is bad for society. He won his court cases not by arguing the constitutionality of laws, but by arguing the social validity. Now, if you're a woman, this is kind of like a backhanded compliment, right? Yeah. Yes, you get worker regulations, woohoo! But you get them because you were just proven by the Supreme Court to be weaker. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> right. Two steps forward. Uh, one step back. I think that's more than a step back. You think that was a step and three quarters back? The Supreme Court acknowledged your that weakness. You are weaker, and that you should stay home and have babies instead of going to work. From your motherhood. I'll tell you, that's what it's not. Um, what this is going to do, though, is start highlighting women in work. Remember, I was talking about the Triangle Shirtwaist Company fire. Emma, you have missed all kinds of women. Uh, I've been listening stuff. to it, actually. Oh. And I had a discussion with my mother about Jay Adams. Um, what was the Triangle Shirtwaist Company fire? Didn't we, we see some video and stuff on that? Or some yeah. photos? Yeah, what's this going to lead to, the Triangle Shirtwaist Company fire? Safety. Yeah, safety in city and building, safety in um, workplace, um, and, and mostly it's going to be with issues of women. Right in women areas. Okay. I can stop this. We can stop this video. There's four of them.